Yo, what is going on guys? This is aka Monkey Kid here, and I'm doing a small tutorial video on how it is that I record videos to upload to YouTube. And I'm gonna tell you in this I'm gonna show you guys uh, what program I use to record, how I use it, where to get it, and all that good stuff. So, first things first, the program that I use to record is this little program right here. Open Broadcaster Software, or as I like to call it, OBS, because it's a lot more uh, easy. It's a lot easier to cut it that. So, yeah. And um, to download it, really, first of all, obviously go to your uh, browser. And then go to obsproject.com. I'll provide the links in the description down below if you need it. It's not really that hard, but phew, some people just like it. Click download. And it will tell you exactly what it is over here. What it is, what versions you can get, all that kind of stuff. Then you click download. I have already downloaded it, obviously, so I'm not really going to do that. But actually, no, you know what? I'll do it anyways. Click download. It's going to come up. You show, you pick exactly where you want to uh, go. Uh, take it to. Usually, most people like to click it to desktop. That's what I used to do. That's what I still do, actually. And save it. The install is going to show up. I'm not going to do that because I already have it, and I'm not sure what it will do. But the installer will come up somewhere on your uh, desktop. <coughs> usually near the top left area and all you have to do is just click on it click the install button check whatever like just press next all oh, if you've installed pretty much anything on a computer you know how it is then to get it actually I'm gonna bring it over here right now this is what I'm using whoa inception okay well oh my god well you go to settings when you come to settings it's gonna give you well, settings. That's pretty self-explanatory. When you go to general, you pick the language that you want to do, what you're going to be doing, and you can set the different uh, profiles. I have a recording profile and a broadcasting profile for Twitch. I don't really go to Twitch or live streaming. I don't really live stream on Twitch that often, though. Right now, I have it set on recording because that's what I'm doing. Um, when you go to the website, actually, I'm not even going to show you the settings at the moment. When you go to the website something that you want to do go home go to the home and then try to f go to help to the drop down arrow and click the estimator the estimator will tell you well it will ask you a few questions so it can figure out what type of processor you have what uh, graphics card you use what you're doing what kind of games you're playing and it tells you what settings you should have for example I have uh, i7 with an Intel HD 3000 graphics card, pretty simple, it's a stock one. And high motion, because even though Minecraft is a really simple, like, it doesn't look like the graphics are too complicated, it is a high motion game. And it is first person, so you really do want to uh, use high motion action, e.g. FPS, da 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 And to, you have to test your upload speed. To do that, you go to speedtest.net, and at first, all you have to do, really, is come here, and you click the the what's it called? What does the button say? All right, the begin test, and it tells you your download speed, your upload speed, and all that stuff. So then you put it here. Then your in-game resolution is the well, just leave it at 1920, 1080 for the best quality. That's what I do. And then you click recommended settings. I'm just gonna put some random number here, 2.89. There you go. And it tells you what you should set your FPS to, your bit rate, what you should do. And all that good stuff on settings. So I really can't show you that, I guess, because of the fact that there's going to be a whole bunch of inception going on. But I can try. Uh, with the general settings, like I said before, language, recording, live streaming, encoder, you leave that. CBR, it will tell you. Enable CBR for improved stream st stability. But that was, again, that was for me with the information that I put in. So it might say something completely different for you. Broadcasting settings, I have it to file output because for this um, for this profile, I have it to file output because all I want it to do is record and then output it to a f uh, any folder that I have it in, which is currently in my recording folder. And it, it gives you like uh, keys that you can put, shortcuts and all that. I usually start recording with the end key because I don't really use that key for any other anything pretty much. So I just use that there. Video settings, graphics card, resolution, FPS, again, right here. It says set FPS to 30, which is what I did. The recommended settings here will help you so much. Trust me. 
audio. You just pick whatever uh, audio you're using, my, as in like uh, the speakers. The headset that I'm using is both my speakers and my microphone, so I have them both the USB PMP sound device. Uh, what else? What else? This you don't really have to click. Show only connected devices. It's very helpful because you don't want a whole bunch of stuff showing up that aren't even connected to your computer because you might accidentally click it and you can't use it. So this is to mute your mic. I don't really use that because I'm going to record and I don't want it to be heard. Yeah. So. Desktop boost is for any audio that you hear coming from my computer. You can give it a boost so it will show up louder during the recording. My headset sometimes is a little bit quiet so I like to put a mic and auxiliary boost. So I put sometimes four, maybe a little bit higher, which is sometimes the reason why my videos are a little bit louder than usual. And that's because I put the uh, microphone volume a little bit higher. Because I'm sometimes I'm not sure exactly what audio level my uh, microphone set is at. This, don't touch it. Don't touch any of this. The advance in the microphone nose gate, don't, do not, just leave it how it is. You don't want to mess it unless if you know exactly what you're doing. Besides that, just leave them alone. I've learned this the hard way because it's ruined stuff that I've done before and I'd had to reinstall the whole program. So once you have this downloaded, honestly all you have to do is start your preview. Hold on. Oh god, this is gonna get inception right now. Let's see how this goes. I'm scared! I'm scared! Okay, it's gonna be inception. You come over here to your settings, which actually, no, you already did that. Never mind. Edit scene lets you edit anything that you're doing. For example, what I'm doing right now, it's going to shrink on your on your uh, YouTube browser right now. So it's going to get pretty small. Global sources, it's just you can add different things to there, like images. You can add pretty much whatever you want. Uh, stop recording. I'm not going to click that because that would ruin this kind of. Uh, preview stream before you start recording you really want to do that you want to preview your stream because it will give you your, your wavelength for your audio and for any uh, sounds that your computer is making so if you're gonna re be recording gameplay you definitely want both of these to be going up and down whenever you're speaking or whenever something is going on during the game because if not either your viewers are not gonna be able to hear you or they're not gonna be able to hear your game which are both extremely important Besides that, there's not really much else to this program. You can add different scenes. I have different scenes here from when I'm recording Minecraft or Unfair Mario. I'm going to start recording Smite soon. Um, I'm trying to figure out some stuff with it, and then after that, I'll record it if uh, there's not too much lag with it. Happy Wheels as well. I'm recording some content. I just need some editing and stuff. Might go up, might not. It depends on how good I think the content is. Warframe is another game. All these just games that I might play. Whatever. That's besides the point. You're here for the tutorial, not for my story. Right now, I just set this up because I might do more tutorials. If you want to see any tutorials on what I do or things that I have done, let me know in the comments. I could definitely help you guys out since I've done it. I know about it. Uh, well, nine times out of ten. If not, I am sorry. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I can help you. This is a quick and really simple. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I could probably help you out with it. If not, I'll find out an answer and then I can try to help you with it. Just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If I helped you out at all, leave a like. If you need any questions, comment, even though I've said it three times already. And possibly share this with your friends if you guys are trying to record. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, uh. Uh, yeah. Potato. Bye. Love you.